Spencer Dinwiddie's Bitcoin takeover is in full effect. Now I'm sure you know who Spencer Dinwiddie is, and by now I hope you've heard of Bitcoin. But for those that haven't, on this journey I'm going to break down what Bitcoin is, why it's so important in today's economy, and also we're going to look at the plan that Spencer Dinwiddie has for cryptocurrency. Let's get it. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! Welcome back to Journey of a Ballaholic, the best talk show for basketball addicts. I'm your host, General Hannibal Lex. Now, if you're new on this channel, you're going to be getting my passionate and unfiltered opinion on the hottest NBA and college basketball topics. Listen, I'm a ballaholic. Now, if you're a ballaholic like me and you're missing the NBA, go ahead and hit that like button. But also, make sure you subscribe to the channel and be sure to tap that notification bell so that you'll be updated whenever I drop new videos, which is every Monday and Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, before we get this video started, as always, go down to the comment section for the comment of the day. Let me know, do you currently own any Bitcoin? And also, if you were able to invest in an NBA's tokenized players in coin, would you do so? Okay, so listen, before we start this, I have to say, I am not a financial advisor, and this is not financial advice. But now that we got that out the way, I'm going to keep it real with you. Bitcoin is changing the game. Bitcoin is revolutionary. But the question is, what is Bitcoin? So Bitcoin is just a decentralized cryptocurrency that can be sent from person to person or person to business with no central bank or middleman needed to complete the transaction. It runs off a network that's called the blockchain. Now, the blockchain is basically just a digital ledger system that records all of the Bitcoin transactions around the world on thousands of computers at the same time. Now let's go back to 2014. The Sacramento Kings, they became the first professional sports franchise to accept Bitcoin for their tickets and even their merchandise. Now Spencer Dinwiddie, what he's doing is trying to take the game to a whole nother level. As we know, in 2018, Dinwiddie with his entrepreneurial mindset decided he was going to create his own signature shoe and called it Kairos. Now Kairos is named after the Greek god Zeus's youngest son. Kairos means the most opportune time, says Dinwiddie during a recent interview with Jason Williams on the boardroom. Now Dinwiddie has definitely been taking an advantage of the most opportune time after investing in Bitcoin back in 2017. He made a ton of cash, but that's just where the story begins for Spencer Dinwiddie in this crypto space. Spencer decided he wanted to find a new way for the fans and the players to be able to engage with each other. Now, his initial idea was to tokenize his Brooklyn Nets contract so that a fan could be able to invest in his token and then his contract as it grew over the years would be able to pay that fan dividends off the money that he made. But unfortunately, the NBA initially shot down that idea as they stated that it went against the collective bargaining agreement that no player shall assign or otherwise transfer to any third party his right to receive compensation from the team under his player contract. To this day, the NBA still has not given Spencer permission, but Spencer didn't let that stop him. He stood firm that he was not going to allow the NBA to dictate his ability to monetize his likeness, personality, and his talent. Now, after months of back and forth between the NBA and Spencer Dinwiddie, he decided to go ahead and move forward and he successfully turned his three-year, $34.4 million contract with the Nets into an investment vehicle called Dream Fan Shares. Now, this is how he was able to do that. And this is how he kind of steered clear of the trouble that he may be able to get into is that he decided he was not going to involve his contract, but what he did is he turned himself into a small business and leveraged all of his rev revenue streams to be able to double his money. So this is the issue that with this though. The common fan, me and you, players, I mean, people who just love the game, unfortunately, we're not allowed to buy these tokens as the tokens can only be purchased by qualified, accredited investors that have passed various SEC as well as legal standards. There's regulations that also stipulate that the tokens, which are priced at $150,000 a piece, they cannot be sold or traded for one year. But the reality is that people, they want to become buyers of these tokenized athletic contracts. The interest is definitely there. But the latest news is that Spencer recently announced that he just created a GoFundMe giving fans a chance to vote for what team is going to play for next. Now the key is that Dinwiddie wants to raise $24.6 million by the summer of 2021. That's when he becomes a free agent. Now if he hits that mark, he's going to let the fans vote for what team he signs a one-year deal with. Now just imagine that, whether it's the Lakers, the Bucks, the Clippers, the, the, Net, uh, the Nets again, whoever it's going to be, the fans will get to vote on that. Now, if he doesn't hit that mark of $24.6 million, then he's going to donate 100% of that cash that's raised to 
to a charity. Now, I'm sure this is going to raise a lot of attention from the NBA, and they're going to try to shoot this idea down yet again. So it's going to be interesting to see how this kind of plays out. But one thing for sure, Bitcoin is absolutely shaking up, not just the way that the NBA and its player contracts go, but Bitcoin and cryptocurrency, they're challenging the global economic system in its entirety. Currently, the US dollar is the world global reserve currency. So that means that regardless of where you live on this earth, your national currency is directly impacted and tied to the US dollar. Now, you go back to 1913 when the Federal Reserve was created, and from that inception, the US dollar has lost 96%, over 96% of its purchasing power. What that basically means is that here in the United States, the cost of food, gas, homes, cars, whatever you, you want to uh, name it, the price of those, as those have gone up, the value of the dollar has actually gone down. And so that's where Bitcoin comes in. Bitcoin is trying to revolutionize finance and how the world operates as it is a decentralized currency. Once again, the United States dollar is directly tied to the United States and its economy. Bitcoin is not tied to any particular economy across the globe. And that right there is the power that Bitcoin and cryptocurrency in general has and how it's going to be a threat to the US dollar as well as the entire global economic landscape. See, this is what Spencer Dinwiddie understands is that a lot of people consider uh, Bitcoin to be digital gold. You gotta remember, gold for thousands of years has been considered real sound money. Whereas the dollar on the other hand is not real sound money. Ever since President Nixon took us off the gold standard back in 1971, the dollar has not been backed by real money, which is gold. So dollars now is what we call fiat currency, AKA fake money. So what the Spencer Dinwiddie is trying to do and those who are in the Bitcoin and the cryptocurrency space, they're trying to get from under a collapsing fake money and put themselves into a new asset class, that being something that has true value that will go up as the value of the dollar goes down. So once again, I am not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. However, I will tell you what I'm doing. And what I'm doing is following the path of what wealthy people and wealthy nations are doing. And that's very simple. They're purchasing Bitcoin, they're buying gold and silver. And that's what I'm doing. You can do whatever you and your financial advisors think is best for you. So let me know in the comment section below, what do you think about these types of videos for me to continue to do, where I mix basketball and business into kind of one topic. Also, if you've missed any of my previous videos, please go ahead and click one of the boxes right here on the screen to the right. Also, make sure you subscribe before you leave the channel. And until next time, peace.